Hey guys, welcome back to Honeycomb. My name is Keo and today we're going to be talking about a sneaker that we've already opened up and done a review on but we're going to update it with an upgrade kit. The sneaker I'm talking about is the Jordan 11 Jubilee and this is a box. We've already opened it and we're going to pop it out but before I do that, I do want to talk about this and this is an upgrade kit that I picked up at the Jordan store in uh, Jordan Manila in BGC and it says custom 23 and it's part of a smaller uh, section of that store where you can do customized uh, sneakers or customized dubrays and lace aglets but also apparel and I popped into there we were there for, for another project we were working on and we saw that they had this and I actually remember seeing uh, the YouTube video of Nightwing over on Wear Testers talking about how this was a feature that would have made this pair of sneakers perfect. So we got this kit for 500 pesos, which is about $10. And it includes, let's open up this, uh, what does this remind us of? This reminds us of a uh, peach, mango pie. peach mango pie, yeah. Apple pie in, uh, in McDonald's, I guess. So inside the kit, it actually comes with a screwdriver, a mini screwdriver. It comes with four lace aglets. They have many colors. I chose to get the one that was uh, chrome because I thought that that would best match the the sneaker. I thought it kind of made sense to have like a a 25 year silver anniversary sneaker have silver dubrays and aglets on it. And that's it. That's all that's inside of the little peach mango pie case. So those are the do brace they say 23 they had a number of choices they had one that said mnl from manila they had one with a jump man on it and i thought that the 23 was the one that looked the best of the bunch uh as much as i would like to have an mnl do i'd probably get them for another pair of sneakers or maybe get, get one that i could move from sneaker to sneaker but for this particular pair i thought it made sense to do everything with silver it being the silver anniversary Jordan 11. So let's bring the sneaker out and upgrade one. So these are little plastic bags of the Dubrays. I'll put them aside. There's another little plastic bag that has just the screws for the Dubrays and you got to be careful because those are tiny and they could, you could misplace them and then you have the lace aglets. Now the lace aglets are a feature that I, I really like on Jordan 11s because of the speed lacing system and these rope laces where if you if you wear these loose and you wear them kind of with the laces low like that because of the speed lacing they're gonna come out so the aglets will be nice and it'll weigh down the lace so that it, it can't just pull out on its own however the thing I'm concerned about now is that if I put the aglets will it lock the laces and I think it will like I'll need to take out the aglet to change the laces of the sneakers, which also means that I have to put in the Dubrays now. So here we're going to take out all of the rope laces and then install the Dubrays uh, because once we put the aglets, this is going to be difficult to do or we might even not be able to do it. So when you put in a Dubray to the sneaker, it's a good idea to take the entire lace out so that you're sure that it's right in the middle. So you just wanna take them, line them up, and pull the Dubray all the way to the end so that it's right in the middle, right? Now pinch down on the Dubray as you insert the first loopholes with the laces. And then take a little peek, make sure that it's the right way up, and get those first laces in. And right away you see the pop and how different that is. Now we again went with the silver so that the silver could match the Jumpman Chrome. They actually have a kind of like a dark black or a shiny metallic black uh, Dubray and Aglet and they actually look really nice as well. Uh, but I thought, you know what, let's go with the silver, let's go with the chrome. The silver is the silver Jubilee of the Jordan 11 and this is the Jubilee Jordan 11. So speed lacing system, relatively fast to lace up as well. You can actually lace up one side then the other, but I like to alternate just because I'm, uh, I'm a little particular that way. 
All right, so now we've got our Jordan 11 Jubilee all laced up with the nice Dubre that matches the Jumpman on the ankle. And now the next thing to do is to install the aglets. Now it should be noted that the aglets go all the way to almost to the end of the lace, but because the rope laces are quite thick, the screw that we're gonna install in the aglet is going to punch through and pinch the lace. So this section of the lace will get a compression mark there when we do this. So it is important to know they will be getting wear. All right, so let's try this out. Threading it through and then we'll take our screwdriver. What you should do is take the screw and insert it a little bit into the hole already before you screw them in because it is a tiny screw and if you've got big hands like me, it's kind of a challenge to do. All right, so what I've done is I've installed the screw already in the Dubre so that it's just that first thread in and now it's easier to insert the lace and get it to stick onto the Dubre. Insert it all the way and now tighten that out. And let's see how deep this thing goes. That seems pretty loose. That does not seem right. I wonder if I have to cut the lace. No, I don't think I have to cut the lace because it does go all the way to the end. All right, let's try it again. This is really hard to do. So there's another easier way to do this, which is you go to the store and they will do this for you at no extra cost. Oh, there you go. All right, so I got it out. You do have to make sure that the lace goes all the way in to near the end so that your screw can be flush with the Dubray. All right, so let's try the other one. Wow, it took us all the time to do one. But now that we have a process for doing it, it should make it a little bit easier. So what I did is I screwed in the first thread. Now I'm going to put in the <laughs> uh. Now we're talking about using a different magnetic screwdriver to do this. Um, I think that you could, but I think most jeweler screwdrivers at this size don't have magnets. We certainly have jeweler screwdrivers over there in the lab that are not this one, but I think I would still encounter some of the same problems. So this is not difficult to do, it's just fiddly, mm. right? Like in terms of, is it hard to do? On a scale of one to 10, it's probably a three. Like there's no like massive engineering or science that goes into making this. It's just cumbersome. Yeah, it's just cumbersome. And, but hopefully the sneakers will really fire when we're done. Aha, there we go. So there you have it, the lace aglets on the Jordan Jubilee. So I think that's a nice little upgrade. Um, honestly, I wish they had included it in the original sneaker. It kind of completes the look. Uh, but hey, at least now we have the option and it was only uh, 10 bucks, not bad. So now that we have that done, I'm gonna do the other pair and here's some on-foot footage of this sneaker with the upgrade kit.
Uh, all right, so we uh, managed to get both sets on. Both shoes have their aglets and their dubrays on the Jubilee 23, uh, 25th anniversary uh, edition. So the silver anniversary have some nice silver dubrays and lace aglets. I like the way they look. They came out really nice. They were easy but frustrating to do. So my advice would be if you want to pick one of these up, head over to the Jordan store. I think they are taking some walk-ins if people if people don't show up for their slot. So you're supposed to reserve a slot, but sometimes you can head over to the store, especially on a weekday. And if someone misses their slot, then you can go right in. Pick up a set and maybe bring your sneakers and have them upgraded uh, on your way in. You just gotta tell the people at the door that that's why you're bringing a pair of Jordans to the Jordan store. All right, have you ever done anything like this? Have you done it to your pair of Jubilees? I would like to know your thoughts. Please do comment below, click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube page. Or you can even send me a DM and tag me on your Instagram stories. So follow along on Instagram. I'm at K.O. Kosho. On Instagram, follow at Ajima Mag and at Honeycomb Manila, which is this place, our studio in Double Dragon Plaza, Metro Manila. I wish you guys good luck. I wish you guys great health. Peace.